While the 25 million rupee daily political circus in parliament continues across the country, people continue to face severe hardships which barely get a mention in the political discourse. In this news first report, we highlighted the danger faced by the villagers of Mapakada and the village was under the constant threat of wild elephants. These reporters and the pleas of villagers fell on deaf ears and two children paid with their lives last night. This home belongs to a poverty-stricken farming family of six living in the village of Rohana in Mapakada, Mahiangane. As they had exams the next day, the four children had gone to bed early. This mother had no option but to run as fast as she could with her children in her arms. But sadly, she wasn't able to get her children to safety. The two little girls who lost their lives last night are Ummu Rasyat, aged 11, and Fatima Rizkat, aged 8. 32 homes have been damaged or destroyed in this village alone since the 7th of this month. The people of the village demonstrated today at the 20th mile post obstructing the Mahyanga near Badulla main road. The protesters said that although various promises were given to them in the past, none have been fulfilled and the result of these broken promises was the loss of two innocent young lives. My father was killed in a wild elephant attack four years ago. We were not given a solution. Now we don't even know who the Minister of Wildlife is. The people are helpless. The children must be sent to school by 6.45 in the morning. We need a solution for this. How can we send our children at this time? There are elephants even in the garden. Wildlife officers who arrived at the scene of the protest promised to relocate the elephant, suspected to be responsible for the deaths. We were screaming and we lit firecrackers. But what we should have done is light them inside the rear ends of our MPs. If not, it does not seem like they would hear us. When the people block the roads and demonstrate, then the DG says they have received approval. They are encouraging the people to block the roads and take the law into their hands. It is only then that their eyes are opened up. Despite countless media reports and protests by the people, those in authority don't seem to have the intent, competence or ability to respond to the needs of the people. Do innocent children have to lose their lives for the authorities to take action? While the entire nation is held at ransom until a power struggle in parliament is resolved, what happens to the hapless people of this nation who struggle with untold difficulties every day? Who will struggle for them? <laughs> 